We have gone up the mountains. I've only managed to kill five of my friends. Um, and, and that's just in game. I mean, in real life, it's way, way more than that. And now we are going to encounter the Yeti. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go back to one of our videos and take a look at Summit. Because that's going to be the Christmas game of the rest of your life. And now Yeti is going to make it even better. <laughs> Connor, what does Yeti add to Summit? A game already with a lot to punch. Hey, yes, thank you so much. Well, first of all, it, it adds this adorable little guy. Apparently, he's quickly turning into everybody's favorite meeple. He actually starts at the top of the mountain, and he moves off of grid. So although we mentioned earlier, we made a mess in our last video. But the top of the mountain, and everyone's racing up it, and the, the Yeti will come down his mountain trying to get you off of his territory. He works in all modes of play, competitive, cooperative, or solo. Uh -huh. Okay, In a cooperative game, he will always go after the alpha, so whoever the healthiest player is. If that was you, he comes along and he bats you around, taking either two food mm -hmm. or one health. Okay. He'll affect all players on the tile. And what ends up happening is you might don some Kevlar, mm -hmm. run off to the side, get his attention, and let the rest of your team run off, Okay, trying to keep them alive. In the competitive version of the game, <laughs> which I think might interest you a little bit more, <laughs> is his movement is dependent on the weather die roll. Uh -huh. So as I explained last time, it tells you how much food you're eating. It's also telling you how many intersections he's going to move. Okay. Okay? And now you're, allow, you're able to send him after your, uh, your, your friends or your foes, however you want to call them. So it comes with this adorable little guy, an extra marking token, the cards I alluded to earlier, which have extra items, events, and karma cards, as well as two new player mats. Okay. So there is plenty to actually not just give with the, um, with the Yeti itself, which is a pretty cool mechanic, but it also, if you wanted to play those characters with the base game, it would also add, add some more variation to the base game. Certainly. My only caution is that these characters are more difficult to play, so I do recommend learning the game with the base players before throwing these guys into the mix. Okay. I mean, there isn't mu much else to say that it's a Yeti. It Come sells itself. He's a, he's a Yeti. Come on. Who wouldn't want to meet a Yeti? Exactly. So, you know, just get this. I presume also available already. Yeah, I'll actually officially re uh, releasing at Essen as well, but also available online, uh, insideupgames.com, and we ship worldwide. Well, human beings, now you know, and everybody else, now you know who you have to give your money to. Go for it. <laughs>